Hello everyone, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and today I'm back with a card that I'm going to make using the snail mail suite from Stampin' Up. I've had this suite in my stash for a while but I haven't played with it yet and when I started playing with it I was having such a good time that I knew this would be the card for today. So I've made a few different cards and I'll have a bunch more to show on Instagram this coming week. So if you want, if you like this card and you think the suite is fun, you may want to check out those cards on Instagram uh, this week. Okay, so we're going to be playing with the Snailed It bundle, or the Snail Mail bundle. And that consists of the stamp set with a couple of different snails, some sentiments, and these cute little mushrooms. And we're also going to use some of the dies. So the dies are really fun with this set because not only do you get the images to cut out all of the snail shapes, but you get some extra mushrooms, a little envelope with a cute little letter that can go inside, and the word hello from the stamp set fits on the letter. And then you get some hearts and this really fun postage uh, die. So that's kind of fun too. So I'm gonna be playing with some of those today and you'll get to see that in the card. So we're gonna start by using our Memento ink pad because we're gonna be coloring with our blends markers today. And we're gonna stamp out one of these snails. So I'm gonna ink him up good, stamp him down. And then I'm gonna start with a light petal pink marker. And I'm gonna use the brush end and I'm just gonna brush a little bit of color onto his, his face and snail body. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna brush on the dark petal pink And then I'm gonna go back to the light and blend out that dark and finish coloring it in. And I tend to love coloring with the brush tip of the marker. I don't know why, but I think everyone has their preference. I just feel like it colors in much more quickly and more smoothly. Then we're gonna move on to his shell and I'm gonna start with a light Daffodil Delight. And you'll see that I'm just coloring in circular motions. And then I'll move on to the dark. And I'm just doing a light touch on this toward the snail's body for the dark. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the light one. I just wanna add a little bit of shading so that we get a variation of color here. Then I'm gonna use the pool party light and dark for his the little packages that are on his back. And I pulled this color scheme right out of the pattern paper. This is a very fun and whimsical color scheme. It goes perfect with these little snails. we go. Then I'm going to set the markers aside and take the die and lay it over top of the snail and run this through my die cutting machine. And what I end up with is a die cut snail just like this. And now we can put the card together. So let's get the Memento black ink pad out again and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And we're gonna use hello. And we're also going to stamp the envelope. So I took the mushroom stamps and I'm using a real red ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the mushrooms right here on the bottom left corner of my envelope. And that'll make it kind of fun so that whoever receives this knows there's something fun inside. So we'll set this aside and we're going to pull the rest of the card elements together. So I'm starting with a standard A2 size card base and it measures eight and a half by five and a half and I'm folding it, I scored it at four and a quarter and folded it in half. 
and we're gonna do a top folding card today. And I'm gonna layer on a panel of basic white that I uh, dry or uh, use the embossing folder, the Pinewood Planks embossing folder on to give it a little texture. And I'm just gonna layer this panel on like this, just like that. Then we're gonna add a couple of scraps. So this paper packet uh, that comes with this suite is so adorable. Lots of patterns, lots of fun colors that are very cute and whimsical to go with the snails. I'm gonna fishtail end the little strips here that I cut out of my scraps. And I'm gonna layer these onto the front of the card. So we'll start with this one. And I'm just going to layer them on kind of at an angle. Like that. So they're not perfectly straight. Then this this is one of the postage uh, dies that comes with the set. You can, I think I might have showed you this earlier. It's this little postage die, and I cut it out of real red cardstock, and I'm just going to layer it over the top here. But before I do, I want to tie on a little bit of the twine that comes with this set. The snail mail twine was something that caught my eye right at the beginning when I first saw this because I love twine, and the the two pinks, the Blushing Bride and the white, are such versatile colors. They go with so many papers and stamps and they're just a great embellishment, I think. Because since twine is one of my favorite embellishments to use on cards. I actually got a, I got the twine before I even bought the suite of product for the snails. But I fell in love with the snails right away. Here's my other scissors here. I'm just gonna trim this bow up. Like that. Set this aside. All right, there we go. And now this piece I'm going to layer on with some dimensional adhesive. Like that. And then we'll just center that over here in the bottom right corner. We're also going to take our hello, and I'm going to fishtail the end of this so that it matches the others, and put a little adhesive on the back, and tuck that under here, just like this. And then we'll add the snail on top using some more dimensional adhesive. I love the dimensional adhesive. I think it just, that's what sets it apart from a store made card, is all this dimension and texture. So we'll just lay that snail on there. And then the finishing touch will be to add one of the beautiful resin heart embellishments. So these are um, little tiny hearts in white or red, and they really add a nice little finish touch to these snail cards. I'm just gonna put one heart right there. Hello. Isn't that so cute? So if you like this card, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like a closer look at this card, please head on over to Queen City Stamp Art and click on the blog tab and you'll see some photos of this card. Again, I'm gonna be posting some additional cards and 